All right, everybody, let's get started. Uh, say hello to New York. Oh, hi, New York. Hi, New York. I know uh, some of the people in this room, you're meeting each other for the first time, so before we even get started talking quality control, of course, we have the people in New York, I'd like to just go around the room, uh, go around the table here, just uh, by way of introduction, tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe uh, what's going on at your location. Okay? Dave, why don't you start? Uh, right now? <laughs> yep. Oh, well, I, I didn't know I'd be speaking today. I didn't uh, prepare anything. <laughs> well, that's all right. Just, you know, something, a brief introduction. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. My name is uh, Dave Boucher. That's a start. Uh, oh, should I be standing up for this? Oh, whatever you like. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have uh, that felt a little strange up there. <laughs> Sit back down. Safe. Um, my name is Dave. You can call me uh, by that name. I am a single. I rent a apartment that I live inside of right now, uh, over on 8th Street, about a mile away. I don't know if you guys know the uh, area. Well, no, I guess all of us live in out of town, or, or some of us, different cities. Some of us are here, some aren't, but uh, you guys are obviously far away. I don't know if you visited, but uh, it's on 8th Street, about a mile away from here. I said that already. Um, it is a uh, well-liked neighborhood by me. I like it living there. Um, oh, I got a Radio Shack right on the corner, so uh, Radio Shack. It's a good walking neighborhood. If I need, um, you know, batteries or, you know, cables, things that adapt, you know, plug together, I probably wouldn't get a big purchase there, but they're good for the, you know, the small wires and, uh, I didn't know I'd be speaking today, <laughs> is a thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, well, obviously, right? <laughs> you know, like this guy sitting here, he's making a great speech, you know, everything's like, well thought out, just, you know, I, my notes, my points, just sort of each, you know, thing logically connects, and uh, is this kind of, I don't know, what you had in mind, or? Why don't you uh, say something uh, that's more work-related? Right, 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 right! More of a work-related mm -hmm. stories, or just language, uh, words, that I'll say. I'm gonna stand up again. Uh, oh, I like it better this time, okay. <laughs> Feels good. Uh, so yes, I am a quality control manager for a major pharmaceutical company. Oh. Which you all work for, right. <laughs> That's why we're here. You guys know that. I don't know if the feed is still going. It's probably at the light. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Ah, it's this thing I do. I just, I repeat a word like over and over, you know, just like, yeah, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. And I just, uh, I mean, everybody does it. I've heard him do it, you know, just like emphasize like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but when I do it, it's become this like nervous, like machine gun sort of tick. And I just, when I hear myself do it, I hate myself a lot for it, but uh, let's see. Uh, boy, 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 okay. <laughs> I said it, I did it again. <laughs> I do it with boys too. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> that sounded good, I do it with boys. Yes, I have sex with young boys. I just thought I would tell everybody that to make a good first impression on you. Like, why would that be a good first impression? You know, why? Unless, you know, you, yeah, you're a room, room full of pedophiles. You know, in New York, round them up, the conference of... That's probably not a funny subject matter to uh, talk about. I didn't know I'd be speaking today. I certainly didn't know I'd be going first. I don't know why we went this. We could have gone that way. And uh, I don't know why this... I don't... The, the, why didn't the German guy go first? Not that... It could be, not because he is. I don't have a thing. It's just he had a long plane ride to sit there and think about what he's going to say. I didn't have time. Right, I'm working on stuff and uh, I just, I don't, it's not because he's German. It's been a long time since I made fun of someone just because they were German. Because I, I was a kid. I was a kid. It was, I didn't know. We didn't know. His name was Henry actually sitting there. Uh, you'll, you might find this funny in particular. You, uh, we, kid's name Henry was German student friend and uh, we said, uh, the joke was his dad's name that we had never met. We said his name was Helmut Dicklicker. <laughs> we said his mom's it's name was Frau Graben Booby. And uh, let me finish. Let me tell the funny part. So we said they walked all around the house acting all German, just like, don't, don't, don't. Henry, do your chores. Yes, Graben Booby. Yes, Dicklicker. It was funny. I'm forgetting the funny part, but I wish I could forget to the. Uh, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know I'd be speaking today. Certainly didn't know I'd be going to clockwise. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone else. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Lillian, would you like to go next? Uh, sure. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Lillian Baker. I work out of our Chicago affiliate, and I'm really excited about starting to implement the new training procedures with our employees. Thank you. All right. Very good. Uh, Lillian, thank you. She didn't have to go first. <laughs> 